Hey folks, this is Mark and Bob coming at you from Fire Mountain Outdoors. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to be taking a look at a cool new product called the Deflector Brake. Uh, this is an accessory for your brass deflector on your AR. Stick around and we're going to tell you all about it. So the deflector brake is a little foam pad that just uh, affixes with a self-adhesive sticker to your brass deflector and uh, is advertised to do four things. Uh, one, which is important to me as a reloader, uh, keeps your case mouse from getting dented. Uh, the second thing is uh, redirects your brass to a uh, small single location so it's not spread out all over the place. Uh, third thing it does. It's going to protect your finish. Right. You're not going to get a bunch of dings in your Cerakote or your custom uh, spray painted, uh, you know, finish that you've done on your AR-15. And it's going to help protect whoever's on your, you know, on your, your right, right side, side yep. from getting dinged in the the side of the face with your brass. Right. It's supposed to deflect the brass more forward and in a smaller pile. So we're going to show you how to install the thing, and then we're going to shoot before, shoot after, test it out, and see if it's worth a darn. Okay, so I have my 300 blackout pistol, and we're going to shoot uh, before. And the brass all went that away. The deflector brake comes in uh, three different colors. We've got black, and we've got multicam, and we have FDE. Uh, since I have a black rifle, we're going to put on the black brace. It comes with an alcohol swab so you can clean your fingers after getting done eating your fried chicken <laughs> or you can use it to wipe off and get any oil off of your deflector usually my fried chicken would require more uh, larger expanse yes <laughs> all right so it's hot out today so that flashed off pretty quick uh, before we remove the pad i'm going to try fit this and just see that i have the orientation correct and it's going to go like that. Now one thing that's important is to make sure it's not going to interfere with your dust cover door. And there. So I'm going to have to have it right up next to the edge. Then we peel off the back. Place it right there. Firmly and verify that the dust cover operation is good. All right, so that is installed. Now let's go shoot and test it. So previously, uh, the ejected brass um, went right towards the camera. So we're gonna see if that changed the direction and then we're gonna recover the brass and see if it's dented or not. Okay, uh, that was a success as far as the case mounts not getting dented. Did you can, as you can see, these are all still perfectly round. Uh, there's no flat spots on it, so that was a win. It did change the angle of uh, the deflection. Uh, it didn't put them forward, but it did make it go less rearward, and uh, it didn't. Uh, it saves the mouse, so that's a good thing. Um, I, I suspect that the uh, change. It didn't go forward as designed because of the shorter case of the 300 blackout. It's hitting at a different angle. So we're going to go ahead and shoot some 5.56 five, uh, before and after and see if it changes on that. Okay, so we switched up to a 5.56 five, rifle. Okay, so this one, uh, this rifle, uh, it, it put them in a nice you know, 132 o'clock position already um, and it grouped them tight where they were. Uh, I am showing some marring on the, the brass deposits that are left. Um, so we're going to install the brass deflector brake on this rifle and see how it changed.
Uh, so the 556 version worked well uh, no dented case mouse and it uh, redirected the brass to about the 132 position and my brass the six rounds are all within a like a little two foot circle so uh, it did well in that regard so the deflector brake bob what do you think i think it's a for an inexpensive little thing to upgrade your gun i think it's actually a pretty cool thing and it, it works really well yeah, we can see in the when you did that mag dump and pump, I mean, you can see just they all just go in the same spot there. So it worked really well for that. Um, I liked how it saved the the case mouse. So oh, for reloading, it's going to be a, a huge win. I'm definitely going to put it on all of the the stuff that's more expensive brass um, that I'm always super anal about making sure I keep it and save it and polish it. Uh, my Grendels and my 458 SOCOM and all of that where the where the brass is expensive and a premium It's I mean, it's a good investment. I think yeah They say uh, the longevity is going to be around 200 rounds or so on these, you know, they're inexpensive You can peel it off and put a new one on mm -hmm. uh, For the people that are really anal about uh, the finish on their gun. It's going to be a good protector for that mm -hmm. Uh, when we're shooting side by side and I'm spotting or Eli's spotting, we're not going to oh, get hit the, in the on face. On the bench, that's huge. It's going to be huge on the bench. Right. So yep. I think it's a win. I think it's a worthy investment. And if you have an AR-15 and you're worried about your brass or your finish, it's uh, it's going to be a worthy investment. I think so. So uh, two thumbs up for the deflector brake. Hey, it's made in America by a, a small business. Support them. Go get one. Uh, it looks better than a piece of Velcro or tape or whatever yeah. on your under deal and it works well so uh, it's a win go get yourself a deflector brake by havoc technical tactical solutions, solutions. that's yep. right hey folks you can't take back a bullet and you never ever want to wish that you could so always follow the four basic safety rules whenever handling firearms stay safe shoot straight like and subscribe we'll catch you on the firing line thanks for watching